I trained for this race for eight months, about 20 to 30 hours a week. Today is a two mile swim. Uh, it's a total of six miles swimming, uh, 250 miles biking, and 50 miles of running. For me, the most challenging part of the race will be the swim. Just uh, six miles of swimming in three days. You know, just trying to manage that and my, my pace and stuff like that. You know, the, the bike and the run, you can always slow down if you get a little tired or something, but once you start swimming, you're just, you're out there. Feels pretty good to be honest with you. <laughs> I know that's not true, but that's the way it feels. <laughs> Any extra clothes or you're good? No, I'm gonna start with this and see how it goes. All right.
How was the swim? It was great. Much warmer in the water than outside, out here. How cold is it out right now? It's about 42 degrees. We're here at Kearney Island for the end of day one for our Florida Extreme Triathlon. Athletes are coming in from their bike and heading out on their 18.6 mile run. We are doing the Florida Extreme Triathlon today. I am the support crew for John McGovern. He started, we started training back in May for this race. He's doing awesome today. Had a solid swim, solid bike, and now he's out on the run course. Tough day. <laughs> <laughs> you are extreme. Congratulations, sir.
Stage one of the, the Florida Extreme Triathlon didn't disappoint. It was, it was a challenging day. I, I, I did what I expected. Um, I wish I did a little bit better, but you know, a three day race trying to conserve energy versus performing on day one. So I kinda, I, I, I did more caution uh, and keep more energy for second day and the third day. Um, put in a good effort day one, but you know, try not to burn too many matches and uh, keep a little bit for day two and day three.